which is a, a, a paint that is conductive. I don't know where the bear comes from. I haven't seen a conductive bear. <laughs> there are other ways of doing it. Um, there is uh, India ink, if you can get hold of the proper stuff, not the stuff they sell in art shops that's never seen India, or ink. <laughs> um, there's mildly conductive. There's also silver paint and all that. Basically, it makes it a really light ball that is moderately conductive. And all I've done is the strips here. You'll notice that those are connected together. Normally, that would be earthed. As I said, this doesn't have an earth, so I'm going to make that one side. And then every other strip will end with the other side. This is a variant of a Franklin Bell's sort of thing. This is actually a particle accelerator. Mm. <laughs> so why did CERN This is a particle. <laughs> Because I don't know if you've noticed that there isn't, there isn't a lot of science done with ping pong balls in mixing bowls. And that's probably why CERN uh, missed the trick, yeah, to be fair. So I'm just going to connect these. These are just normal crocolic leads that I have subtly insulated with um, aquarium pump plastic. Purely because it takes them up to sort of about 100,000 volts. No, I haven't tested it. I certainly wouldn't trust my life on it, but they're better than just being plain wires. So, we'll start that up again. I'm going to put forward. There we go. So, anybody have an idea what's happening? The ball's going round and round. The ball is going round and round. I like that. A scientist that explains his observations with his observations. <laughs> right. What's happening is, as the ball goes round, say it starts on an earthed one, it will have no volts. But the one next to it has probably about 70,000 volts. Because of that difference of the charge, it's actually attractive. When it gets to that one, and you can actually hear little sparks as it goes round, it discharges itself with all of its charge, or in this case, charges itself up with 70,000 volts, but there's still a bit of momentum happening. So it gets towards the end of that, then it sees Earth. You've got 70,000 volts and Earth. They're dislike, it charges, so it goes and rushes towards Earth. As soon as it gets to Earth, the Earth discharges it, runs a little further on, sees 70,000 volts again. Dislike charge, off we go. And that's what keeps it spinning. And no, I haven't got a clue what the efficiency of the system is <laughs> from one end to the other. <laughs> Almost bugger all is a guess. <laughs> but there we have a very simple mechanical system. Mr. Edison would be quite proud of that. It's about as efficient as this system and uses very high voltage. <laughs> I'm going to try and switch this off with that. And it will actually run around for quite a while, just on its own. So it's a bit damp today, so um, off the Van de Graaff, it, it will run for up to uh, seven or eight minutes sometimes. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 